What's going on guys, No Slack Novak here with episode 9 of Sim Airport. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. If you uh, are enjoying the series and you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It would really mean a lot. However, let's move on. Let's jump straight into the video. We are going to do some more expansion. If you guys watched the last episode, you guys know that we added this fourth large gate. We also did the baggage claim system, which if we kind of go underground view, you can see uh, it expands. Uh, it expands. It's it's pretty expansive. Um, goes all the way from our ticketing over here, all the way up here into the baggage depot, and then routes all the way back here to our baggage claim, which we're probably going to have to um, expand this as well, because I think one carousel here is just not enough. Now, what I want to do, because it's 143, 144 in the morning now, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pause the game, and we're going to kind of plan on getting a larger runway in here. Now, in order to fit a larger runway, we might have to purchase some more land. Um, and let's also make it an asphalt runway. We, so, okay, maybe we don't. However, um, some stuff is clearly in the way. And I'm thinking maybe it would be easier if we just purchased this plot of land. That's going to cost us $504,000. But it'll make it extremely easy on expanding our terminal, adding more gates, and then also just pushing this out a little bit more. So I think that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and speed up time. So this is probably something we're going to have to do um, in about 24 hours. However, I do want to start getting this set up a little bit over here. So let's go ahead. Let's add in two of these gate desks. Um, I think two are going to be enough, and I do want to kind of position them the same way. So we'll put one guy right there. We'll put the other one over, over here. We're going to get the queue uh, system set up basically the same way. Um, expand queue. I wonder what that visualize queues does exactly. However, okay, let's see. So this is going to get started, I think, right... Mm, I believe we're going to want to put that right there. And then maybe do something like this. Come back around. And that should be good. Maybe... I think that's actually the exact same. Same length and everything. Uh, let's go ahead and assign over here. That one is assigned, yes. Let's go ahead and assign this one as well. And we should be good. We're going to have to obviously hire a couple more staff members, which one thing I do want to work on, might not get to it this episode, but I want to work on the scheduling of the staff. Because right now, we're not getting any flights basically from about 9 p.m. until about 4 in the morning. And that is, uh, so that's about seven hours there that I'm paying all these people to work in our airport. And there's really no reason for them to even be up here. And where is our staff? Where are you guys? You know what? They're not there. I know why they're not there. It's because we don't have any flights scheduled. <laughs> we don't have any flights scheduled for this gate right now. Which, um, I'm a little curious then. You know what? Can we actually get more? Um, you know what? I don't think I want to. I think I want to wait until we expand the runway and see if we can actually just get some, like, legitimate large flights only to go right there. Now, with that being said, we do have that second gate. So, I believe if we go into the grants, airline service, I believe this is done. Increase over uh, overall airline interest to 70. Oh, okay, so our airline interest here is 69. So we're right there. I wonder what do we need to do in order to get that bumped up to 70? Probably if we lower our, our costs a little bit, that'll probably help. Which I really don't want to do that, but unfortunately I think I'm going to kind of have to. Where, oh, where? Um. Where was that again? Uh, flight status, no. Flight management, I don't believe it's flight management. It's 
not research. It's not over here in finance. Where, oh, where was that? And why can't we just get that one little extra 1% 1 bonus? Hmm. All right. Well, we do have a nice chunk of change. $555,000. Um, we can afford, we can actually afford that extra plot of land, 504,000. Let's go ahead and purchase that. Whoa. All right. <laughs> um, well, we have that extra plot of land, so that's nice. That kind of freaked me out there a little bit. I thought maybe something was going to get, uh, get broken. And you know what? I actually like that I did that because it eliminated our... Our little baggage issue that we had over here with those stuck bags. I think it might have reset the the overlays as well. Oh well, not a big deal. Not a not a huge deal. So we have ninety-two thousand dollars now. We're still at sixty-nine percent of airline satisfaction over here. Um why oh why? And I'm sure I'm just like completely overlooking it. But why oh why can we not Oh, well, that's Lurnyville. I don't want to work with Lurnyville. Why, oh, why can we not? Oh, this is kind of annoying. Mm. Why can we not adjust this? We can. Okay, good. Where? Man, where is that? That's gonna bug me. It's not up here. Request loan. I don't care about loans. Profit and loss. No, it's not there. Cash flow. No. Airport value. No. Perfect ops bonus. No. It's definitely not over here. However, this is kind of important. Let's see how our satisfaction is doing with passengers. So, they're kind of bored. Their environment is could, could use a little bit of work. But it looks like right now the boredom aspect is the biggest issue. Boredom. All right, need to address that. Here we go. Weather forecast, commercial pricing. If we lower this just a little bit, I think that'll kind of bump us up. Let's make that 900 bucks. Let's make this 50. And then that should bump up our airline interest at least that 1%. At the very least. Right? Right? Please? Maybe? Possibly? No? Oh, that's frustrating. I really thought that would have worked. Probably gonna have to do that, um... Man. We have an 86% rating here, an 84% rating over here. 78 with Atlantic International. I mean, you guys should, uh, fuel satisfaction? Okay, maybe we could lower the fuel costs as well. All right, fuel services. Let's make this instead of 10%, let's bump it down to 8. Um hopefully that works now. For the overall um airline satisfaction. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe we just have to add a few more a few more sales reps. I wonder All right, $173,000. You know what? Let's do this. Let's actually expand the runway. And I'm, I'm kind of curious. Can we... We can't upgrade the runway without demolishing it. Is that really a thing? Asphalt runway. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can do that. Uh, Alright, well, what if we stick with concrete? Um, and just... Uh, I guess come out here... Let's do this. Let's demolish this. And then we're, we're just going to demolish that as well. Have our construction crew work on that. And then we're going to just bring it out a little bit more. Um, so the taxiway is going to invalid placement. Why? Must be sufficiently clear of, uh, of nearby obstructions blocked uh, by nearby fence or wall. There shouldn't be any kind of fence or wall. 
insufficient funds now and we will not be able to get more funds okay you know what i guess it's time for another loan and he is not reliable whatsoever so i'm not giving no slack novak a red cent oh man all right let's do uh let's do five hundred thousand. that should uh that should help us get everything that we need right oh i never accepted it um accept all right let's get this built taxiway why is this still being an issue And okay, so hold on. Is is there is there really a fence here? Why do we have a fence there? Ah, oh boy. All right, dismantle, dismantle the fence. I don't know why they put a fence there. Just make it off limits, man. Like that land is not purchased. Just make it make it out of bounds. All right, anyways, construction crew's going to work on that. We're going to be able to expand our runway. Let's go ahead and... Nope, okay. Fence is still too... Okay. Eh, now? No. Still no. There we go. All right, now I wonder... And what's all this? Why is this not... Is it because of the lights? That's kind of ridiculous. Wow. Wow. Okay, there we go. Um, get out of my way, man. <laughs> this game can be frustrating sometimes. Concrete one runway. Runway is already under construction. Is that is that it? Like, can we just not? Already under construction. Runway is already... <laughs> runway is already under construction or in use. Runway is already... Okay, so you're telling me twice. Um, I think I actually... Are, that's probably as, as long as it can get. Maybe. Can, can it go even longer? Too close to another runway. Hopefully that'll take all the planes. That, um, that it can... Okay, let's try this. Now, I'm hoping that our construction crew is going to knock that out and that uh, we can now get every every kind of plane. Hopefully. We only expanded it, I think, maybe two blocks. But uh, hopefully that works. Let's find out. We have planes that are scheduled to come in here very, very soon. So I hope this construction team knocks that out ASAP. And we do have some warnings. What are you telling me here? And of course I can't... Uh, yeah, of course I can't see what it is. And then the taxiway still needs to get built. That's going to take a while. Runway... Okay, runway's finished. What is going on here? Upgrade, everything is still good. Taxiway is done. Okay, everything went away too, so we should be good. $374,000. Can we now accept the large planes? Let us find out. We can't do the air, uh, early morning because that hasn't adjusted yet. That's that's a little frustrating. Um, however, let's see. If we click over here, large planes like a Boeing 767... Um, doesn't look like we have any of those. However, we can accept every, every flight over here from Atlantic International. Hmm, interesting. And it is a gate runway large. 707. The 707 can hold 180 passengers, but are we accepting 707s already? I thought we were. We're accepting 737s. Yep, 737s, 140 max, A320, uh, however, the A320 can hold less than the 707, so maybe we're good. Yeah, 737, 140 passengers max. 
let's do this um so boeing 707 large oh no we can't requires a runway at least 150 inches in depth man this is oh this is frustrating maybe we just have to dismantle the whole runway if if that's the case then we're just gonna have to man we're gonna have to wait until until the evening time because i really don't want to mess with this while all the passengers are here and then why can we just not get that 70 percent man let's lower prices a little bit more fuel services eight percent let's lower that to five and then the commercial pricing will lower that even more and then like i feel like that should bump us up Because let's see, like right here, arrow time is at 86%. Um, they, see, that is going up. The commercial fees, they're getting happier. So if they're getting happier, why is our... There it is. Good. 70%. Just barely. Um, let's go to grants. And this should be done now. Large scale operations. Um, okay, that doesn't come with any kind of cash or anything like that. But then over here, serve 10 planes with a functioning fuel system. Negotiate and assign 10 offices to airlines. 10? Right now we have three offices and you want me to have 10? That's what we need to be able to unlock early morning flights. Holy smokes. All right, well, man, that's that's a lot of work. <laughs> uh, tourist trap, let's see, build five stores, two first class lounges. What else can we maybe start working on? Research finance, accept a new loan uh, to finance construction, build an office and assign a CFO to it done that already pay off any loans wait for three days we should have done that unlocks next tier for this track pay off any loans wait for three days all right oh uh, man all right well let's see man i really don't like that i think we're gonna have to demolish this entire runway Let's try to get that done in this episode. I don't want to move on without that being done. So anyways, let me let me take a look at my little checklist here. So we've got the um, fixed restrooms. We kind of did that. We, we at least evened it out. I still want to add some gift shop and some bookstores and all that kind of good stuff. Oh, uh, that's going to have to wait. Uh, ticket counter to queues. I definitely did that. Okay, so that was one thing that I forgot to do in, I want to say it was like episode six. We built these two new counters and we didn't attach them to queues. However, as you can see, that is done. So we're good there. Uh, we're good there. Um, we made the larger pickup zone. Uh, as you can see here, though, that's still just like overwhelmingly crowded. Now, I can't believe all those people just fit on this bus. Uh, okay, granted, it can hold 150 people, but still. That's... Uh, that's pretty nuts. And we're definitely going to have to do something over here in, like, the main entrance to the airport. And I still want to beautify it here on the outside. That is still something I want to work on. It's just, right now, my number one priority is getting that large uh, runway in place. So we can actually, like, make use of these two large gates. And I really do want to get those... Uh, that's probably my number one desire, is to get the early morning flights. Because that's going to help us out with cash big time big time however um that is gonna be a ways away 10 offices man 10 sales rep offices that's gonna be nuts Seven hundred and thirty-eight thousand dollars. that looks pretty good i'm pretty happy with that i mean granted we do have that loan for 400 or five hundred thousand dollars that we're gonna pay off but that shouldn't be an issue that really shouldn't be too big of an issue let's actually take a little bit of a uh, look at that um, so yeah, our daily interest is only 4,000. I mean, that's, that's nothing. So I'm not really concerned with that loan, like, at all. Uh, now it is 7.20 p.m., 7.30 p.m. We still have some passengers here, so a couple of, uh, flights are still gonna come in. Um, okay, one more, one more. Is that it? Do we have another one? Let's check out our flight plan. Where are we? It's 8.30 in the evening. I think we're done. No more flights coming in. So as soon as these two guys leave, we can work on the uh, construction. And uh, speaking of construction, 
I'm gonna hire some more workmen. Let's let's get the 20. That'll help speed it up just a little bit more. All right, that plane took off. Now this is what I want to do. Um, dismantle the entire runway. We are also going to uh, demolish this right here. That way we can expand a little bit more. And I think we're going to need to demolish that as well. Let's go ahead and speed up time. Have our construction crew come out here and knock that out. I wonder if we're going to be able to get this done in time. Looks like the de uh, demolition of this runway is going to take forever. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead. Let's hire. Let's hire some more. We'll hire 30. So 15 new uh, crew members. These guys should come on one of these buses. There they are. All right, guys, help me knock this out, please. This is super important. I want to get this done before the uh, next set of flights comes in. All right, so that runway is done. Can you guys please work on this uh, taxiway system over here, please? Let's go ahead and do asphalt runway. And we're going to build all the way. Okay. Okay, we're going to have to kind of wait for them. All right, I'm going to hold on. I'm going to hold on. Okay, that's done. Excellent. Excellent. All right, let's see here. Oh, wow. So it looks like that... Um, looks like the RJ85 is the largest. Oh, well, maybe not. Wow. Okay, so... That should be runway length, 180 tiles. That should be good. Like, we should be able to do every possible um, plane in the game using this length of runway. Let's go ahead and build the taxiway over here as well. And then we're going to have to upgrade the actual runway as well. So they still have... To, okay. Man. Maybe we'll do a little time lapse here or something, because this is going to take a while for them to build. And then even once they do build the runway over here, we're going to have to do some upgrades for the uh, the lights and the uh, the pappy lights and all that kind of stuff. All right, let's get these runway lights in here. Uh, they're going to need to knock that out. Some sort of an issue over here as well. Uh, we're going to need to get the Pappy lights in here. Let's do that. We'll put one set over here. We'll put the other set. don't know why it went away. We'll put the other set on the other side of the runway. And we've got planes coming in, so that's excellent. And then, uh, what else? So, runway ILS. We'll just throw that, I don't know, like right here. And, okay, we should be good. Now we should be able to get the large airplanes. Let's take a real quick look. Um, who was it? Atlantic, I want to say it was. Uh, let's find Atlantic. Atlantic International. Um, they have the large Boeing uh, 707, and we are able to accept it. So, that's excellent. And they also have the, yeah, Boeing 707 over here as well. Excellent. Excellent. Let's go ahead and accept that. We'll accept this one as well. I want to work mostly with the ones that we have good relationship uh, relationships with. Uh, wow, look at that. All these Boeing 707s. Accept, 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 accept. <laughs> um, okay, let's start, let's start putting these guys in here. So, early morning time. Um, let's do this guy here. Now I'm thinking maybe we need to stagger just a little bit. Because we have these guys all kinds of, um... Let's see, yeah, let's, let's stagger this just a little bit. Eliminate a little bit of stress on our, uh, on our ticketing and on our... Um, our security and all that good stuff. And I can actually lower this. Uh, let's not lower it too much. And then this one can actually come over here.
and we're looking good. We can get some more. Uh, we can get some more flights in here. We could probably do. Let's just do one more um, afternoon flight. One more afternoon. We'll do like one more, maybe two more evening, and then we could squeeze in one more morning flight. So let's see, Pacific Airlines. We've got a good relationship with them. They only have small flights. Um, Aerotime, I think we've taken all of their big ones. Afford Air, do you have any large? You do. Let's do, we'll do, ooh, 767s. Wow, 250 passengers, holy smokes. So we'll do 1 p.m., we'll do 1 a.m. Man. 1 p.m., 1 a.m., we'll squeeze you, like, right here. And we'll give you guys, you know what, we'll give you guys plenty of time. And then let's do, we got the room for one more PM flight. We'll put you over here. And then we could still do a couple more flights. Still do a couple more. Um, a Ford Air, however, those aren't large gates. Those are small gates. Um, uh, let's do one more afternoon. So let's see, Star Flight. Afternoon, large, 767. We'll accept you. We'll put you over here, and then let's maybe... Yeah, I think that's going to be a good spot. Yeah, let, let's see how that works for us, and then we'll kind of play uh, depending on how that goes. Now, that's not going to take effect until tomorrow. So those flights that we just added, those, I don't know, six flights or so, um, those aren't going to actually come in until tomorrow. However, um, that is going to be the end of this episode, guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the uh, the series. Ah, oh, man, we've accomplished a lot, and I'm glad I ended up getting that runway much, uh, the, the much larger runway installed, and it didn't take too long, but, you know what, hold on, one thing I want to take care of, I'm going to pay off, I think I'll be able to pay it off, yes, paid off that entire loan as well, so we're going to go into the next episode completely debt free, we do have $54,000, we will get a little bit extra cash. I do want to put in another hangar too, because we're we're clearly going to need more. Uh, we're going to need more fueling carts. We're going to need more uh, baggage carts as well. Anyways, guys, that is going to be the end of this episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Do me a favor if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Uh, YouTube will notify you guys whenever a new Sim Airport video is uploaded, or uh, any other series on the channel like Plutocracy. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying that as well. And until then, until I see you guys on the next video or the next live stream, I hope you guys stay safe and take care. Bye.